Hey, what's going on guys? It's uh, Rod here with the Hodler Fud Crypto. We're just doing a quick little jump on tonight. I uh, just wanted to give you an update. We're waiting for a movie to upload right now. Uh, our link pool review that was requested from somebody in the chat. Uh, but I wanted to just put, touch base and get into the market and see kind of what the market's done for us this week. And it's been pretty generous. But if you guys remember for the Sunday Night Quickie, I picked Ethereum... Cardano and Polkadot to have good weeks. Um, and all three uh, Thursday night right now, we're at 20%. Now the uh, Cardano news, we were kind of hoping would have a bigger upside to it, but it, it didn't get there for us yet. Yet. Don't give up on it, guys, because these things all take a little bit of time to shake out. Um, but just know that, you know, we are looking at things and uh, and we're watching them closely right now. Um, now, if you remember, we also talked about what I thought Ethereum was going to do this week and where we have gone so far in that journey. Now, if you remember on the chart, I was showing you guys how I thought that we would see a $3,000 Ethereum uh, going into May 16th. Now, Ethereum's just blowing through. The market right now, the all-time highs that it keeps setting every day is exciting. Uh, today we're up over twenty eight hundred dollars. Now, uh, if you guys remember on Sunday night, what did I say Ethereum was going to do this week, guys? I said it was going to go to twenty nine hundred dollars. So we're still trending towards that, and that's very exciting news for everybody who holds Ethereum. Uh, what we didn't see was. Uh, Bitcoin taking so long to get that steam engine rolling so that it can start pumping up and, and getting back and challenging for that all-time high. But Ethereum has been absolutely ripping this week. And you got to take advantage of stuff like that. Uh, again, not a great time to buy Ethereum unless you think it's going to continue to just go up and not have any kind of pullbacks. Um, but historically, we've seen Ethereum go up and challenge the upper levels of its channel and then have a slight correction and pull back and then move right back to where it was uh, before the correction. Now, what's that look like? Now, we are going to see a lot of huge upside movements soon, but we don't know when we're gonna see those pumps to start getting us in. Now, we are getting to that time of the market where we're gonna wanna start seeing some of those moves where we're talking about a 2X Ethereum in May um, but Ethereum right now is trending ahead of where I even had it in the channel. So uh, super bullish on Ethereum still, guys. Like, don't even think twice about uh, where we're heading because there's big, bright skies ahead for Ethereum. And, and being able to watch what it's going to do is going to be special. Um, but you, you hear people talking this week about where Ethereum's going and what it can do in a few, quite a few years down the road, a couple market cycles from here. I just lost my light, so we're going to have to maybe adjust. But guys, if Ethereum cracks into this $4 million coin uh, or token that they're talking about, oh my, like that is generational wealth. Now, I'm not as bullish as that on Ethereum as a project as a whole. Will it get there one day? Absolutely, maybe. But absolutely, maybe not. Uh, and that's just because there's so much unknown. Like, how are these other side chains or, or whatnot, like the polka dots and the Cardanos and the, the Maddox and all that, how are they going to fare with market share going down the road? Are they going to take it all in this DeFi world? Or is Ethereum going to hold most of it? Um, you know, Binance Smart Chain still less than a third of the market cap than what Ethereum has, um, but still a fantastic um, avenue and it's a fantastic chain and with everything it has to offer. Again, if you remember last week we did a video on Pancake Swap and how did Pancake Swap do this week, guys? Absolutely crushed it. I think it's sixty five percent this week so far. Um, very happy. I got into Pancake Swap when I was talking about it. Uh, actually, just a little bit before we did the video, but like crazy, crazy. Okay, the market has been very good to us this week, uh, which is kind of nice because it was treating us very poorly there for a little while. But 
I wanted to hop on. I still feel that we're going to hit our $2,900 that I predicted on Sunday. Uh, we are going to get there this week. Uh, like I said, we are up just over $2,800 uh, today. So we are trending in that direction. So guys, hang on tight. Um, you know, people are talking about, you know, having to take that risk to get that reward and, and those who take risks get rewarded, but you've got to also protect yourself uh, because I don't want to hear any stories about people getting absolutely ruined in their financial situations. We're here because we're looking for avenues for financial freedom or even just financial flexibility for some people. So guys, uh, make sure you're taking the time to keep an eye on things. Don't just set it and forget it. This isn't an easy bake oven. Millionaires aren't made overnight. Money's not made overnight. Now, are there stories of it happening? Absolutely. Um, but if you're going for the hodling of this uh, venture, uh, you're going to need to pack a backpack as well, guys. Not just a big bag of tokens, but you're going to have to pack a backpack and your patience. And your big person pants, because there's some decisions that you're going to have to make along the way. But I've absolutely loved... Uh, even going through the lows, because I've always talked about having right buying times and getting in and getting what you need to, to round out um, your wallet. Um, but guys, the market looks strong still right now. Ethereum um, is 27.39 right now as we speak. Um, Cardano is $1.31. I was really hoping it would make $2 with the news. Uh, and they've actually released the date for their uh, Alonzo hard fork. So start watching for Cardano to make a run. Um, I hope you guys bought Matic when we talked about it because my gosh, my gosh, it doesn't look like it's going to stop down. And those layer one solutions that we've talked about and, you know, uh, BitBoy talked about it as well with it being... Uh, the easiest access through Coinbase for those layer one solutions for Ethereum. Uh, it's absolutely ripped this week, guys. The market is looking good. Um, you know, you want to look at stuff like your Bitcoin dominance down to 48%. Ethereum's up to 15.3%. Like alt season is starting to swing, guys. Uh, you can... Go on and you can search out uh, the altcoin season charts, uh, how they're like three month cycles. We're about a month into this run up into alt season. So we're just kind of cresting up. So guys, be patient. Don't believe all the FUD that's out there, guys. Really, if, if, if you go out and you read something that makes you want to react and react in a way where it's going to uh, affect your position in something, don't just go with one story. Go out and look for multiple sources because if there's actually something bad happening, especially when you're talking about FUD, uh, like the uh, the taxations and stuff like that, uh, make sure you go and do your research, not just to buy stuff, but before you sell stuff too, guys, because I'd hate to see you get out of something that's going to keep pumping. So remember, guys, $2,900 this week is looking pretty sexy for Ethereum. And let's just see where PancakeSwap ends up. I was, was looking at taking some uh, profits on that this week. Um, but I, I still feel that the upside on that project is so big. Like we're up to a number 23 token right now. I think if it has a bit of a cool down period here and moves sideways... You're going to see this thing pop up into the top 15 shortly. So, guys, that's what I got for tonight. The video for Link Pool uh, is just finishing up, so I want to get that posted. Thought I'd post an Ethereum market update video real quick, but guys, watch out for it because it's coming. $2,900 ETH. Let's hopefully we can wake up Bitcoin and get this thing popping. And, guys, have yourself a fantastic evening. Protect yourself. Don't wreck yourself. Hog the fud. Out.